Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we are going to take a look at the brand new Unify Protect application update 5.1.57. This brings a ton of great new features including case manager, sensor manager, fingerprint scanning for the G4 doorbell pro and much more. Also with this release, Ubiquiti announced some new AI cameras that we'll take a look at. Without further ado, let's jump right into Unify Protect application 5.1.57. Before we jump into looking at the case manager, this release is still in release candidate. So what we have to do, we need to go to our Unify Protect and then go to the control plane. From here, we go over to our Unify OS and we click on it. On the side, you can see my release channel is in release candidate and that will get you this update. Once it's pushed out to official, you'll be able to stay on official and then upgrade if you want to at that time. Now, Case Manager is a really cool new addition to Unify Protect. We can see here it says Case Manager simplifies complex investigations by consolidating detection assets and notes into one location. Enhance your workflow with collaborative case sharing for greater transparency and efficiency. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a case. I'll click on create case. And from here, you could see that we have the new case in the left-hand corner. If we click on that case, we could give it a name. This name, I'm gonna call it Catio Intruder. With the name now added, we need to add some assets into here. And we could either grab clips from our playback or we could do it from our detections. I'm gonna click on the detections. I'm gonna be selecting animal as that's my Catio. And we're gonna select this clip right here of Mocha in the Catio. I'm gonna click on the clip. And then we're gonna click up here where it says add to a case. We're gonna select the Catio intruder case and we're gonna say add clip, or we could add a description while we're at it. I'm just gonna say fluffy white cat seen in Catio. We're gonna add that note to the case. We could also add another detection if we'd like to the case. I'm gonna click on Nilly and we're gonna click on add to a case. I'm gonna put a note saying cat looking out to space. Now on the left hand side, if we click on the case manager, you're gonna see that we now have those two smart detections put into our case notes. It says add clips from detections or playback, which we knew, and it also added the dates of those clips. So Wednesday, November 20th, 2024, and Friday, November 22nd, 2024 as well. And we could see the notes that we've placed. If we download this, it's gonna create us a zip file. So I'll click on the zip file. Within the zip file, if I double click, we could see both of those smart detections and we could also see a PDF. So I'll click on the PDF and this should bring out our case notes. I think this is gonna be really, really great for doing investigations. Something else that's useful in this new update is reporting false detections. As you can see here in my Unify Protect, it's thinking that my mat is a package, which it is not. So we could see a lot of these are just picking up that mat. So if I click on one of the clips, we could click over here and we could report this as a false detection. If we go ahead and we click over on the settings of it, we need to turn this on. So scrolling down under advanced, we say report false detections. Hovering over the eye icon, we could see it says to improve the accuracy of feature detection functions, users can provide feedback on false positive detections. This function is subject to terms and conditions, and you may want to read the term and conditions before you turn this on. Now that I have it turned on, we could click over the clip that we want to report as a false detection, click on report false detection, and we could see this little blurb comes up. It says the recording may contain personal data and will be processed by filters to protect users' privacy. So it will blurring any detected faces in license plate and the altering of detected human speech. The post-processing recording will be used to enhance Ubiquiti's detection technology and then I'll press report. So if you don't feel comfortable sending your clips over to Ubiquity, don't turn this on, but if you don't mind so that it helps with our Unify Protect detections, go ahead and turn that on. Something else that's really cool of this update is the sensor manager that's for our Protect sensors. We could enable comprehensive monitoring and analysis of environmental conditions. So we could see that I have three sensors here, which I just currently connected, but I'm gonna click on the front door and then we're gonna go to sensor manager. From sensor manager, you can see I have my office sensor, I have my front door, and then we have this one that's unnamed. This is just in my living room, but we could click on all three of them. And then on the right hand side, you could see the different colors for what they represent. So the purple is for my office, the blue is for my front door, and the yellowish color is for my living room. But going over it, seeing as there's not much here, we could see the temperature at a specific time. So at 922, the office 
was 25.1 Celsius. The main floor was 21.6 Celsius. And keep sc scrolling over and you'll start to see the other sensors pop up. It also shows for our humidity. You could see the humidity at those times and it will show for our light. One thing that I would like to see added into the sensor manager, and I'm sure they will eventually, is door open and closing events, which would be great. Now, another new feature is for our G4 doorbell pros, and this is the ability to either scan an NFC card or to do our fingerprint readings. And this could be paired with Unify Access if you want or with Protect, but Ubiquity doesn't have a door lock, so how do you do it? This clip is from a Reddit user, and I will put the link down below if you want to watch the video, but they have it hooked up to Home Assistant. By scanning their fingerprint, they could open up their door lock. If you'd like to see a video on that, I will switch out one of my door locks and I'll get that done for you. Now, these next two things that I'm going to show you are pretty straightforward, but in our detections, if we go up to the right hand corner, we could see these three bars. If we click on it, it's going to say match confidence and it's matching the confidence of the detection level. So right now it's at 0%, so everything is going to be available. You would see this vehicle here has an 85% confidence. So if we click on it again and we go all the way up to maybe 90%, this is going to change the clips that are shown that are only in 95% or above. This next one is pretty straightforward and you're not going to be able to see me do it. But now we could either pause or resume video by just clicking on the space bar, which I'm doing right now, as you can see that vehicle driving by. And the last thing that we're going to look at before taking a quick look at the new cameras is the loitering detection. So I have my G4 Doorbell Pro PoE up right now. I'm going to click on recording settings. Going down all the way down, we could edit smart detection zones. From here, you could see right now that I have animal, person, and vehicle, and this new one is loitering. We could see here that it says loitering detection is triggered only when an object remains in the smart zone longer than the specified time period. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new zone. From this new zone, I'm just going to cover up all my front porch and maybe down to these steps right here. We're going to only have person and vehicle on. I don't care about animals. And then we're going to click on the loitering. For a person, it will be 10 seconds. Same with the vehicle. I would hope that a vehicle wouldn't go up here. But if someone is standing there for longer than 10 seconds, it will detect us on that. And I'm going to press save. Now I'm going to go stand at my front porch for 10 seconds to make sure that this triggers properly. Well, by this clip, I was standing there for 14 seconds and it did pick it up perfectly. And we do have this new loitering tab. So now let's take a quick look at the new cameras. The first new camera is the AI turret. And I do like the look of this with the blue LED around it. It comes in at $499 USD in his 4K 8 megapixel video resolution. It has an ultra wide viewing angle of 109 degrees, and then you could do 40 meter IR. The good thing about this, it does AI face and license plate recognition, as well as LED spotlight for color night vision. Another highlight of all of these new cameras is it has a micro SD card at the edge. So if something ever happened to your MVR, it would still be recording locally on the camera. And I think that's a great new addition. Now, if you don't like the turret style, you could go with the AI dome, which is at the same price point. It has the same video resolution, the ultra wide viewing angle and the same IR. It also does the AI face recognition and license plate recognition. You could record audio with the integrated mics and it has that micro SD card. And I do like the look of these as well. They also come with a bunch of different accessories. So we have the AI dome camera flush mount, the weather camera shield, and then the camera dual mount, which I think the dual mounts are really, really cool. I did see these at Ubiquity World Conference in Miami. This next one I think is going to be a really big hit. And this is the AI LPR, which is specifically designed for license plate reading. You'd see it says specialized 4K camera with three times optical zoom and long range IR night vision optimized for recognizing license plates on moving vehicles up to 90 kilometers per hour, which is massive. We have that 4K video resolution, three times optical zoom, 1550 feet IR captured distance, and then advanced LPR high speed detection at night. At night is our biggest thing. If we are using something like the AI Pro, it would probably reflect off the license plate because of the IR. But this is specifically designed to work at nighttime. They currently don't have a price on this, but it's supposed to be coming out in January 2025. And once I get my hands on it, I will do a video on it. And this last device that we're going to be talking about is really cool. It's the AI port and it comes in at $199 USD available December 4th. 
What this is gonna do, it would make any of our non-AI cameras give the AI features. So AI facial recognition and license plate recognition, or if you have a third party camera or an OnVIF camera, it would also include those AI features. Now that's gonna be it for my video on Unify Protect application 5.1.57, and I really do love these new updates. And I really wanna get my hands on these new cameras and the AI port so that I could get testing them out. Let me know what your favorite part about this new update is and your favorite new camera. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.